I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm not, but I am, you know? Hey guys, it's Sharon. Today I am doing yet another text frame because that's what we all love to see. And also Zane just dropped a new song so it's like literally perfect timing. Now I do get this question a lot and a lot of you guys leave this in the comments and it's like how do people fall for your text frames? And this is how and this is why. I text a song the second it comes out so no one knows the song because none of the people I really know are going to be listening to Zane's song the first day it comes out like me or like you. So that's how I make my text frames work. I pick a song that has just come out and I hit them with it because because they don't know it yet but enough about that so I was reading the lyrics and listening to the song and I'm like this song is very very sexual very I love you I want to devote myself to you and I was like I don't know who I could text this to without feeling awkward then I was like who can I text this to that it wouldn't ruin our relationship or make things awkward you know like it wouldn't be that bad I was like I'm not texting another ex not texting a crush or anything I was like how about I just text my guy best friend because that is the most greatest idea ever right Right, so the person I'm texting is one of my closest guy friends and we hang out practically like every weekend, like we're actually super close. I don't think there's anything that we can't tell each other, so I'm excited to see how this text break goes. I'm like, I'm not nervous because like I just trust our friendship that much, but it's also a little bit interesting because like these lyrics are very um out there, you know? But anyways, if you guys do want to see more text breaks, give this a thumbs up, comment down what text break you want to see next, and of course feel free to check out my channel for more text pranks, and then you should, you know, subscribe so you can see more of those. I also suggest you follow my Instagram and my Twitter because that's where I ask you guys what you want to see next, and then I get out here and I make them. But enough about that, let's get into this text prank and let's start texting some Zayn let me lyrics and I am so out of breath how do I talk this fast <sighs> I'm kidding <laughs> I'm not but I am you know anyways let's get on with this okay so I'm just gonna throw this right off the bat and I'm saying this right now the first line is literally sweet baby our sex has meaning I'm not texting that because it'll give it away when we haven't slept together so I'm gonna change it to our relationship so that way he doesn't already know something's up and be like all right what's up we've never had sex why what's going on so we're gonna change the words around and I'm gonna cut a little bit of the chorus because it gets repetitive so this way it flows more like a conversation versus like an actual song so let's see how long this lasts well, hello, sweet baby, to you too. LOL. I thought your dad didn't like people spending the night. Hell yeah, that sounds like a party. Just us? What are you getting at? Whoa. Are you serious? As long as it's not at that dumb club again, lol. <laughs> Okay, so what he's referring to is a weekend or two ago, we went to this club and it was like the worst experience ever. It was super crowded, super gross. Everyone was super sweaty. They had like no AC, like it was just nasty. So that's what he's referring to and I don't blame him. Never again. I do love the beach, LMAO, but where is this coming from? Wow, you're serious. What changed? What changed? I feel like that's a weird wording because it's basically like, oh, you didn't like me, but now you do. It's almost like alluding at, I liked you once and you didn't like me and now you do. What changed? Like, I feel like he could have been like, what's making you say this or something? Or maybe that's just me overanalyzing and overthinking everything because that's just it's who I am. And that's going to be our comment for today, actually. Hashtag who I am. Why not? I want to know why you're coming out of nowhere with this first. This is suspicious. He's saying, I want to know why first. So does that mean he's not against it, like, completely? Or, I mean, like, don't get me wrong. This is my guy best friend. I love him. He's attractive, but, like, I, you know, that's my guy best friend. Like, that's, like, I don't want to ruin the friendship. Which I feel super hypocritical saying because I think any great relationship stems from friendship. But I'm like, this is my friend. It's, ugh, life is complicated, guys. We know this. Love, love is rough. We've, we've been known this. Let's keep texting. You're very persistent. That's what they all say. Prove it. This man just said, prove it? Is that a threat or a promise? That's not really a, a promise, but... 
moving on. That's a long time. How long have you felt this way? Since Zane dropped this song. Well, damn, that was hot. Come over then. Oh, okay. What is he watching? What is that? Oh, he couldn't fix the exposure on the TV. All I see is like, is that like Jersey Shore? I don't even know what he's watching. That came out with the Kardashians. I just like how boring his room is. Like his room is my favorite thing. It's really just a dresser under the TV. That's it. Retweet your goals. <laughs> about forever lol Sharon I think you're hot but you're also one of my close friends I don't know if dating a friend would be the best idea okay <laughs> um I've been friend zoned <laughs> but it's okay because I technically friend zoned him like I feel like this is the same exact way I feel about him like I acknowledge you're attractive but you know let's keep our friendship it's nice let's not ruin it so that's okay <laughs> I'm glad this went well but um I'm a little bit butter, but I'm not because it's the same way I feel. Why am I such a hypocrite sometimes? Why are we such hypocritical when it comes to people loving us? I don't get it. Maybe we just want love. I just, I just, mm, whatever. I, mm, I don't, I'm not gonna continue with the prank because it gets like repetitive after this. I started peeing the chorus. It's like, baby, let me be your man. I would love you, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just gonna say, good thing this is a prank and I'm gonna play it off. And I also just realized if I were to text someone my feelings and they don't reciprocate it, you can always just be like, good thing this was a prank or good thing this was a dare. I just saved your life. You're welcome. I should have known, LMAO. You can still come over though. We can watch some movies. He said, <laughs> I can still come over though. All right, so now I got plans. We're gonna watch movies and nothing's gonna happen. We're just watching movies. No chilling in the Netflix and chill. Just, just, just the Netflix part. Like this is literally what we do like on a daily basis. So I feel a lot better about this text prank. Whew. I was a little bit nervous, but I'm not. I mean, from what I can gather from this is he wouldn't have been against it, but he wouldn't have been completely for it. So I was like, okay, thanks, Zane. Now I, now I know a little something more that I didn't know beforehand. So thank you, Zane. You always out here saving me, or I, I guess not really saving me, but like helping me, right? Shout out to Zane. Where's the new music though? I'm still waiting. It's only been like three days, but I need another one now, so. Yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this text prank. Give this a thumbs up if you did. Comment down what you think of what you would have done. And of course, comment down what text prank you want to see next. I... I'm still over here messing with people. I'm just lucky that my friend gets me and he understands me. But wow, I would have been in some deep stuff if that was someone else. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this, definitely subscribe for more. But with all that being said, I will see you guys next time. Bye! So party, my man, just something about you, just me to a savage.